Oh, there's no court. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Can I jump back in here, please? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
do you feel a little upstaged by John Tory coming here at 8.30? No, it's a great day. It's, um, I've, I'm looking forward to starting my campaign, and I'm looking forward to launching a campaign for the people of Toronto that uh, they believe re represents their priorities. Oh, and I have my ID. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you very much. No, that's okay. I don't need to do that, honey. I did. I did it right there. Last name, first name. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, who's the talkative one? Yes. What's her name? Haley. That's Haley. Haley. She's shy. We're working on it. <laughs> 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 What's your son's name? Jackson. Hi, guys. Hey, Jackson, can you say hi? Haley and Jackson. Yeah. Haley and, and Jackson. And we're working on a haircut over here. <laughs> oh, no. Surfer, what's cool? Is it Jackson or Jeff? Jackson. Seven? She's seven. He's back. Oh, yeah. You took that out, didn't you? Are you going to put it back? No. Is this kind of like a health foot? <laughs> no, actually, I'm excited to get started. It's um, it's going to be a great campaign, and I'm looking forward to it. Okay, thank, thank you. you very You're much. all good to go. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck. Thank, 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 thank you. you. you also, I believe we're going to. Yes. Yeah, we're going to get out there. I'm just going to. Um, Yay! Yay! <laughs> 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 thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you know, we're going to go back to school. <laughs> 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 Happily so. Wait, hold on, hold on. Daniel, because of her on the table. The ninja reporter. Yeah. The ninja reporter like that. Are you standing closer to Scarborough for me? No, representing one city. So yes, today I filed my papers to become the 60th mayor of Toronto, and I'm very excited about launching a campaign that will build and unite our city. That um, I want to be the responsible and accountable leader that the people of Toronto are looking for, and that one that will be able to deliver on their priorities. What's the difference between you and John Tory? I am excited for running for mayor, and I will. My track record speaks to itself. Over the past ten years, I've been fighting for fiscal accountability, and while at the TTC, we made some changes that were focused entirely on the customer. How are you and so those are the kinds of things I want to bring to City Hall. How are you going to be How are you going to be for <laughs> Again, it's a long campaign, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, when I talk to the people of the city, they talk about things like congestion, safe neighborhoods, low tax rates, um, building uh, strong communities, and those are the things that people care about, and those are the things that I want to deliver on. How do you propose to expand on transit without revenue tools? How do you propose to expand on transit without any revenue tools? No, it's a great question, and you know, really, what I want to focus on in my campaign is alleviating congestion, because congestion is not just about transit. Congestion is finding solutions for cars and bikes and pedestrians. And so my campaign will look at ways to help alleviate congestion and, again, help rationalize the resources that we have. So you said this morning, though, that there were not going to be any revenue tools in your campaign yeah. to for transit. Yeah. How do you propose to do that? Where are you going to get the money from? Well, I mean, I successfully worked with the province and the federal government to get the money for the extension of the Gloria and Forth line. And as we look to the uh, downtown relief line, I'll use those same opportunities and those same partnerships to make sure we get the funding for that line too. But there's a revenue tool there. You had a yeah. property tax hike. Yeah. No. And again, so it's a municipal contribution. Uh, I think that there are. I know there are ways that we can fund that portion of the downtown relief line without going to people and asking for them to pay more. You worry that it's going to be too many conservative uh, candidates that will split the vote? Well, I am worried that we could end up with a, a, a pendulum swing back to an NDP government, and I don't want that. I think we had seven years of that, and I think the city spoke loudly against that. So I look forward to a campaign that is fiscally responsible, but also delivering on the priorities of the city. So it's so when it seems like the vote is taxes? split on the, the conservative side, will you drop out and put your support behind John Tory or someone like that who's stronger? I'm looking to fight a good campaign on behalf of the people of Toronto. One that unites the city and delivers on their priorities. Are you I have a strong end? record and I have a sh strong track record. Ten years of fighting for fiscal responsibility and for customer service at the city. So well, I'm looking forward to the very end no matter what? Today I indicated that I will be on the ballot until the end.
Yeah. Karen, are you worried about raising money against Tory? To pay for a downtown relief line, how, what's the yeah. city contribution? Well, I think there are ways, and I'll I'll be talking about them in the upcoming weeks, that we can afford to invest in projects like the downtown relief line without having to rely on property taxes. What are some other things you'd like to do for the city? Yeah, we have to, again, when we talk about congestion, it's broader than transit, so we need to be dealing with congestion. <coughs> we need to be fostering the growth of safe neighborhoods. We need to make sure that our tax rates stay affordable, and those are the kinds of things that I'll be talking about on Wednesday. When are we going to bridge the divide between the, the, the downtown and the garden center? Yeah, so uh, we are, I believe, a united city. The experience of living north of the 401 is very different than living south of the 401, and I think that is real. We need to be able to bring transit and economic opportunities to all areas of our city, and that's what I intend to do. But I do believe that things that unite Torontonians are stronger than what divides us, and so that's the campaign I will be fighting. What about the Thanks, gardener? The gardener. What's the gardener? The gardener? I, you know, I'm excited, actually. I think there's a hybrid solution on the gardener that will allow us to reconfigure the way the gardener currently is while still opening up the economic opportunity of the land underneath. So that's the, there's a, it's called a hybrid propo proposal, and that's the one that I will be advocating that we study for. So it's not on the table. It's, it's not on the table right now, but it needs to be on the table because that's the kind of solution that's going to keep traffic moving while still opening up the economic where, possibilities. When are you going to make that pub? When yeah, the, we're in, in due course. Yeah, yeah, exactly. what about, so do you want to bid on the World Cup as well? Yeah, the Great Lakes World Cup. Wouldn't that be fabulous? Mm -hmm. Yeah, once we get the BMO field, then we open up all kinds of opportunities for all kinds of big events, such as the Winter Classic and the Great Lakes World Cup. Karen, yeah. I, I stared at the hybrid proposal for a yeah. while this weekend. And I couldn't figure out what happens east of Cherry Street. Yeah, east of so uh, yeah east of Cherry Street. Um, there's a land right now to be developed. It can be 40 acres or 40 acres or 60 acres, depending on how the city wants to partner. Mm -hmm. But it actually creates a great economic opportunity for for employment lands in the downtown. So would this still be an elevated expressway, or what? It would be an elevated expressway, yeah, but it would be differently configured. Oh, so so you you'd, you'd link the DVP and the gardeners. Yes, yes, I would. But yes, that's I would. Start building before anything comes down. <coughs> Karen, what's Karen? What's Karen? What's Eventually it would be torn down, but a link would be created, sure. so there would be minimum impact on traffic. Karen, what's your message to people considering re-electing the mayor? Uh, you know, I when I talk to the people of Toronto, they want a mayor that is accountable and responsible, fiscally, understanding of their of their concerns and their pressures, but they want someone that can deliver on their priorities, and I'm that person. Duckford has already gone to the attack today. Are you expecting that kind of a mean, nasty campaign? Sorry. I'm looking forward to the campaign ahead. <laughs>